Okie doke. So this is kind of a in between my classes sort of thing. Now, in order to get some models, you no, know, we use what's that program we use? MMD the last time. And this time we're going to be using a new another program uh, called XNA Laura XPS version. I'm sure it's been updated because this version I got a long time ago, so I don't even know where to get it anymore. But I know that there are tons of models on uh, DeviantArt and well everywhere for XNA Laura. So that's also a good place to go to pick up some models when you want to rig your favorite game character. Um, so what I'm going to do is I want to get the Great Fairy. I had the Great Fairy before, but it seems like I guess she died when I cleaned out my computer so I don't have any more so I'm going to show you uh, so I had to re-export her out so I figured why not show you how I do it when I'm using XNA Lore so what I want to do is uh, when you download your XNA Lore stuff you first have to put your models inside the data folder and it'll just extract it straight in here into its own folder whatever you want to name it this one is our great fairy and you can see these are some other things that I had downloaded before I had more models back in the day but when I cleaned off my computer I kinda lost a lot of them so that's something to play with for another day anyway so um, we actually you have your models inside your data folder you can go file back into the program and you go file add models and you'll see all the um, what you call it the characters you have loaded into there are there so I'm gonna choose model because I know that's the great fairy and I'm gonna hit OK and you see great fairy pops in now if we were to work with it like we did our previous stuff you, you know our previous tutorial we would have to do the altar to the rest pose because you see her arms are not in the perfect T pose so to save some time with that we're going to put her in the T pose as she is now and then export it out that way we don't have to work with that alter the rest pose stuff so I'm gonna click on her uh, shoulder I guess her arm shoulder see if that one and you're gonna scroll play with these and see what happens okay so that's obviously the wrong bone so let me see I think her arm bone is in her chest her shoulder bone control bone is in her chest for some reason all right so you're gonna move it here so negative 10. Now I'm going to do the same thing on this side. Uh, this side, if it goes over there, and I'm just going to put 10. And there we go. She's in the T pose, and we can just rig straight with that without having to deal with that alters her rest pose nonsense. So once we have her pose in the way we want her, we're going to go to, I think it's modify, and then export scene as OBJ. And it's going to say copy texture, so I'm going to say OK. And you can just save it wherever you want. I'm going to save mine to my desktop because I think I have, there we go, this folder. And I'm just going to say Great Fairy. And then that's it. So that's how you export it out. So let's go into Blender, which I'm really surprised I don't have open. Blender is always open, causing my computer to die. So let's close this because we don't need it anymore. Yes. And I'm going to go file, import, obj, where is it, it's Hyrule Warriors, Great Fairy, no, Great Fairy, and there's our Great Fairy. Of course she's all pixelated and, and stuff, but that's nothing setting it to smooth can't fix. So I'm going to press A and I'm going to join all her parts. Nope, I should have got rid of that bottle first. Did it join? Okay, yeah. Let's get rid of that bottle because we don't need it. Beat it bottle. And same with the pants. I like my great fairy pantsless. There we go. And that cut down on a lot of things. Let me see what's up here. Is that her face? Just yes, that's that's her face. Okay. So I'm gonna also move some other more trouble weight makers. I'm gonna take her hair and put it on a different layer. And I guess you can keep her arm, no, get rid of her, no arm grass for you. Just want the big, naked, beast fairy lady. So once we have all that, I'm going to press A. I'm going to click on her first, then I'm going to press A. And then I'm going to join all her parts together. And then I'm going to press Smooth. So she's not pixelated anymore. Let's see if that shows anything. So texture solid, you can see that her textures are indeed there. And um, what am I going to do next? Uh, nothing because her text I joined in her texture state so that's it that's how we prep her and now she's ready to be used 
uh, and now a tutorial on how to make giant avatars because nothing just feels so right as seeing a giant great fairy right <laughs> all right so i'll see you guys over on that tutorial this is just the prepping and now we can get the work